so few days ago i applied for the ui ux develop designer i don't know why people don't say them developer but they are also developing something whatever so for a designer okay for a company named bridge up and i didn't received anything from them yet but still uh, i made a landing page for design for them like redesign their old landing page not old the landing page that they are having right now and redesigned it and improved its ui and ux mm, okay and recently i have been following marketing example i have told you told that to you earlier because uh, i have already featured that site in my previous videos and i'm loving his contents to be honest really really great awesome contents with awesome examples now he has uh, a couple of weeks ago published a specifically a uh, article on uh, like how to make landing pages like how to properly put copies into landing pages so what are the psychologies that should work uh, into a landing page in terms of copies now there were like many of the things that were there uh, which was directly related to ux and nothing more of an ui but directly related to ux as a uh, for sure okay so i have taken all of those learnings from there and kept it into this while designing this as well so i will explain all of those things over there now this is not a making video or fast making video this is a comparison video of like what they are having and what i have designed why i have designed okay and i am reusing that video so you will be able to see that i am uh, talking like maybe using first person rather than using like uh, any other form of uh, talking that i usually do in my channel so that's uh, one thing that you should look into it and let's meet you in the outro of the video okay so let's just enjoy it oh before let's roll out the intro right <laughs> So this is the site that I have designed. Okay, and this is your site. Okay, so we will be doing a comparative analysis, but not side by side comparison, like head to head comparison, because both of them have same contents, but uh, in a little bit different manner. And now let's talk about the hero section or above the full section first, because this is what actually determine if your user gonna look through the whole website or not. Okay, so. Uh, we have to make it more discoverable, discoverable like more, make it more approaching and another thing is uh, i have recently been following uh, harry from marketing examples and he recently not recently but few weeks ago made a great uh, guide to landing pages uh, like uh, explaining all of the philosophies of ux over there with marketing content as well so i have followed that thing also here and i will obviously explain all why i have followed that now let's get started so we have our uh, title subtitle and primary city okay so i also have our title now i have kept the asset word in a different color because from the whole concept of bridge bridge up what i get is this is we are more focusing toward asset like assets for the business so that's why i have kept like kept uh, this in different color to give it more attention then second uh, second change that is i have uh, destructured the subtitle section and uh, like uh, parted it in two ways that is like you were using no date no dilution no strings uh, in the like later portion i have bring it forward and like uh, kept a serious uh, serious differentiation between two of them why so this no date no dilution no strings is a way easier concept to understand for a user whoever is visiting it rather than reading all of this then understanding this so i have uh, increased his hierarchy and make made it more bold to like give a quick snap of what we are thinking here today okay now cta so your cta was get started and uh, like why i have uh, increased the thing like uh, made the changes to get capital in one minute 
so uh, here is the thing so user may think that after landing into your page user may think that uh, like user will have some of the objection like uh, if he thinks uh, yes uh, we, we can get started right now but i hope like i think it will take me some like take me time okay to get started with it or maybe it it, it will there is some catch or uh, there is something like we have to find out the user obstacles or objection first so i am here assuming one obstacle or objection and keeping that here i have created this cta that is get capital in one minute so user will not be confused that it may might take long time so we are uh, like stating that right away and uh, why i have uh, kept it keep get capital rather than getting started is because getting started is more generic we can find it out in most of the other websites though it follows jacob rules uh, but to follow the jacob rule i have kept that here like here it would be most preferable rather than this main cta because this is something we should get a little bit creative uh, with to like uh, like grab the attention of the customer that we are like customer of the user and then there i have kept a social proof that is this section okay and like i have seen that you guys are already having this testimonial section i have just uh, taken some of the elements from that testimonial section and kept it kept it here like just to uh, give more authentic like authenticity to the user like this is a legit product and obviously uh, what i think that uh, it, it is also mentioned in the marketing examples that we should always keep this uh, portion like a screenshot of our app or the product uh, maybe some people are using our product those kind of things like a uh, proof of the app or proof of the concept or proof of the product over he over here like in the hero section only like user shouldn't be scrolling down and seeing it he should he or she should always see it right away so that's why i have kept it here and gave it a like mock up of wait 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 just give me a minute and gave it a mock up of a macbook so it looks more authentic okay so that's all about this hero section now let's uh, continue towards the other section like under the fold section so here we have first of all features and uh, options that we are having features and uh, like suppose what what we are targeting over here like what problem statement we are solving over here so here i have uh, kept all of this and i have redesigned it a little bit because what i felt is uh this theme is more like giving me a 3d 3d vibe 3d glass more vibe with this dark theme and dark cool theme it, i am getting that vibe but those isometric illustration are not justifying it to be honest so that's why i kept uh, those 3d uh, clay like elements uh, that looks really great okay and i have maintained uh, some wavy patterns that i have seen over here okay so like this type of wavy patterns and gave it a little bit of blur just to destructure that sharpness because uh, that's that's how it will be differentiated to the main element okay so uh, user user should provide all of his attention to this section rather than in the background so that's why i gave it a blur also so after this section we have i would rather say the step section because uh, this i feel like feel more like the steps that a user should take that is select payout payback okay and to keep it straightforward and bold like uh, keeping this message really really simple i have kept it in this way really really big fonts and explaining what that section means like select then select contracts to trade whatever the message it conveys i have kept all of those things bold and like really clear to the user okay so after that portion we have our use cases maybe yeah uh, we can call it use cases or like who can use it now here i got little bit confused because why there are too many colors when 
in this whole side we don't have that much of play of colors though what i can see is uh, you have colors in your dashboard i can uh, see that like all of those colors you can you have that in your dashboard but that is obviously needed uh, there because it has a lot of analytics and a lot of other things but not right here right so that's why i have like changed it a bit and uh, gave it a glass morphing some look and with that glass morphism look i added a little bit of gradient behind the logos like behind the icons that's why uh, that's how it's like getting more attention like just to give that tiny teen, teeny little bit of details to those icons that's why i kept those gradients okay and after that we have our testimonial section now in this section uh, i thought it it is it is a like real html event but what i like when working what i found out is it's not a html element at all rather than it's totally a uh, image though i am using naptha project right now that's why i can select all of those texts over from here but uh, still <laughs> i thought like i got a little bit of confused when i was working with it so first problem that i have addressed from here is this section is not having any padding in x axis that shouldn't be the thing okay it should have at least padding to this section like uh, this margin bridge of margin so i have kept the same thing over here as my like uh, navbar is not sticky you can't see that but yeah i have maintained all of the same margins and uh, like uh, i have destructured those uh, things a little bit because as i am using left alignment in the whole website i have kept the same thing over here because when we use left alignment it's really easy for our user to read the content rather than median alignment or right alignment okay or or even justify because user can follow those flows okay that's why i have kept it like there and like gave it a new rehaul okay after that it's our secondary area or recall cta hmm. so we have it here but uh, in this section i felt like it lacks a bit because it's not really looking like a cta because uh, what what i have seen on other sites that a cta section a recall cta section specially should look like uh, like the boldest message ever because this is the last chance we are getting to hook our user into our site or like uh, let him fulfill the goal that we want right so keeping that in mind keeping that psychology in mind and studying a bit of other saas landing pages i have made this cta really big bold eye catchy like user can get it anytime that he want like this is straight forward to him right away in in like in front of his eyes okay that's why this portion is working like that and after that nothing that we have our footer section usual footer section now here also i have like uh, disrupt the footer section that we are having right now it is all middle aligned i have as as i have kept all of those things left aligned i have kept that same thing here as well so that's basically it that's basically it about this whole site uh oh uh, there's nothing else yeah there is nothing else actually so that's it so that's it for today guys so i know uh, i am trying different different formats of video right now like not featuring any product in particular but like really trying different things yesterday i have like uh, promoted about a psychology to be honest like minimalism psychology and today i am doing this uh, uh, let me know if you are liking those kind of of uh, videos or not or i else i will like go back to the like uh, my other videos uh, like product review videos maybe yeah so every day showing a new product or new saas or new resources whatever i will go back to that so let me know and if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to this channel and please because 91% of our you are in subscribed like soch ke dekha hai itna subscribe agar ho jayega like 90% 91% of you are in subscribed even if 
like 50 percent of them uh, subscribe to me i will have a lot of subscribers maybe i can yeah maybe i can go to thousand subscribers as well because right now my uh, uh per week growth is 500 view on average okay so uh, and unique view are also great like uh, i am getting a lot of unique views nowadays so even 50 percent of them subscribes i will get a lot of subscriber so please please subscribe to my channel and if you know about some of the great resources like marketing examples from where i can learn a lot and apply it into like real world some uh like i can do some real world things please let me know about all of them in the comment section below as well so that's it bye for now Thank mm-hmm. you.